everybody, and welcome to Northern Lion Plays FTL Advanced Edition. I loved playing FTL when I originally played it back in like 2012, the fall of 2012 into the winter of 2012 until eventually I just had my will broken from dying too much. But uh, the Advanced Edition has just come out uh, on Steam or will be out tomorrow depending on the time that this video goes up. And basically it's just a it's a free update that adds new weapons, a new alien race, new ships, new layouts, etc, etc, and new encounters, which is the thing that I think basically everybody was super psyched about. Uh, they all loved FTL, everybody loved FTL, I named it my favorite game of 2012 back in that Wendy's 2012 series. Um, but uh, uh, now it's got even more stuff in it. How could that be bad? It's FTL's Wrath of the Lamb. This is me going in sight on scene. This is not a let's look at. I'm just assuming that it's going to be good. But even if it's not, it's also free for people who already own FTL. But there is a, an iPad edition of the game uh, coming out at the same time as well. But anyway, we have a, a ship list here that we can choose from. Um, I don't know if we have any. We do have some of the Type Bs, actually. None of the Type Cs. But I'm just going to roll with the Kestrel, which is your like standard starting ship, and we're going to see if we can't encounter some new stuff. There's also a hard mode now added, in addition to the just easy and normal mode from before, which seems crazy. So we're going to play some FTL. It could take an hour. It could take uh, 20 minutes, depending on how badly I do. But I'm, I'm excited to start a new FTL series. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Be Beams. Beam weapons do damage based on the number of rooms they hit. Each shield bubble will block one damage of a beam. It's best to use beams when the enemy shields are down. I know there are people who are super experts. I can't believe I have to go to a nebula to start with. But uh, there are people who are super experts at FTL. I'm not one of them, so I apologize. Um, with the sensors down, you spend a good deal of time staring out the window. It is, you must admit, rather beautiful out here, but no enemies. Let's just take a look for a second, because we have extra power. We, uh, actually we need three for our engines, but what we, or sorry, three for our weapons, but what we can do for now is power down the med bay. So we have, uh, Pomeroy as the pilot, Tai Yi as our weapon, uh, weapons personnel, and, uh, Osted as our engine man. Okay, that seems fair. Wait, do we need one power to be able to use the sensors, though? I've totally forgotten. That's not good, but let's jump ahead with our, um... Our journey here. We haven't encountered enemies so far. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, you cross paths with an advanced scout of the... Rebel fleet searching for the section, or sorry, searching the section of the nebula for your ship. Okay, so if you haven't played FTL before, you're gonna pretty quickly figure out uh, what it is that is going on with it. And basically what it is is a possible real-time strategy game where combat plays a very major role. So the enemy has one level of shields, this is how many, uh, or how much health it has, and we can also see its weapons just by looking at it. It looks like it has a beam, as well as a, um, a laser that shoots two shots. So one shot will take down our shields, and then, um, wow, they did actually an awful lot of damage. Let's send our weapons personnel over there to fix the shield room, because they will just automatically fix it when they go. Okay. Um, luckily, our weapons are up now, so we're going to take uh, aim at their weapons room to start with, and we'll see if that missile actually hits, and thankfully it did, and then we'll try to take out their shields as well. So they still have a beam up, which is really dangerous because they actually can, um, oh, we need to repair the oxygen as well. Sorry, that's stupid of me. Our oxygen is dipping very, very low. Yeah, they can still do damage to our ship by way of that beam. But um, we should be able to kill them here with our uh, laser, and indeed we did. Okay, that was scary, but uh, we've, we've taken care of it. We Oh, they may have totally changed the interface for this. So we got 15 scrap, 1 fuel, and 1 drone part. I'm sure I'll get used to that as time goes on. Okay, so shields are back up. We took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Oxygen's fixed up. Uh, and once we fix up this med bay, we will just uh, continue moving. We don't need the med bay to be fixed necessarily, but while we're safe here, might as well take this brief moment of respite to uh, get ourselves back up here. I'm hoping that the advanced edition of FTL not only brings new things, but perhaps renewed skill. Oh, there's a fire. Okay, that's because we don't have uh, our sensors on, so it's hard to tell. So uh, what I'm going to do here... Oh, the fire is spread. Let's just send her into the med bay for now, or him into the med bay. Um, and we should be able to put out this fire just by smothering it, basically, by opening these doors so that the oxygen, uh, starts to kind of run out, and of course fire needs oxygen to survive. We can't see anything because our sensors are down now as a result of being in a nebula, but, um, let's just send our unit back here. There's no oxygen in that room, really, but, uh, we'll open up all doors on the ship for now so that the oxygen can spread a little bit more easily. Okay, so that was daunting for, like, a first... Uh, run here, but let's just hope that we get involved in some more like nebula or less nebula combat here So there's just nothing at this juncture here. Okay could jump to the store But I think I'm just gonna jump here and then jump to the store instead So I have a chance to pick up some more scrap Typically you do start a lot stronger than the enemies that you encounter to start with a Federation encrypted signals being broadcast from a nearby planet Send an away party to investigate or it could be a trap. Let's move on 
Who dares wins, or better safe than sorry? Let's go with who dares wins. Send an away party to investigate. You find a small cache of supplies that were surely left for loyal federation ships, in, or left for any loyal federation ships in trouble. You take all that you need, leaving some for others to find. No, take it all. They should give me an option for that. I want to take it all. Fuck the other federation ships. They don't give me achievements. We get 20 scrap, one drone part, one missile. Acceptable. We'll need that. Uh, let us jump. There's a distress call, but I'm gonna go to the store first, and at the store, we're doing okay on missiles, okay on fuel. I would love to buy another weapon if they have one, but, oh, they're just a little bit too expensive. But, if we got rid of something, by the way, this is new, uh, actually, I think all three of these modules might be new. The clone bay, mind control, and hacking. Um, let's see what they do. Clone bay, automatically clones dead crew with skill penalty. Okay, so they'll be worse when they clone, but that's still good. Taking advantage of micro-cloning, crew heals partially every jump. Jump heal is passive and requires no power. That seems really useful. Mind control, temporarily turn enemies into allies. And hacking, targets a single system, locking its doors and granting the ability to temporarily disable or disrupt it. That seems super useful, like... If you, uh, locked all doors on, like, enemy shields and then disrupted it and they couldn't get in, or locked all doors in their oxygen or something like that, that could be really cool, but we can't really afford any of this. Oh, they have other stuff that we can buy, too. They have a second page. We could buy crew members. Uh, is this a new... No, they're both mantises. They're just different colored mantises. Um, okay, this is cool. We could sell something. We could sell, like, our Artemis for 19, and then, uh, we could buy maybe the Firebomb instead might be the best thing. I'm probably not gonna do that, though. Um... Self-teleporting explosive device designed to d damage crew members and light fires can target your own ship. We're just gonna leave. I think we're just gonna leave. As much as I would love to buy this stuff, um, I think probably it would just be for the novelty of getting something new and it would actually make us worse off, which is not my style. You have encountered a refugee ship, by the way, I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to see the new stuff as we play this for 700 episodes, but anyway. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space, it looks as if it was fleeing the Rebel Advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. Should we hail them or ignore the refugees? Let's hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. We'll trade you. They're running low on supplies. Yeah, could you give us missiles, please? We'll give you drone parts. Yeah, we don't need food or anything like that. We're going to politely decline. Um, there is another store. And this will take us close to the exit. We haven't really upgraded our ship at all on this one, so... Um, oh, this is, a, like, I, like I mentioned, a store, and we can buy the clone bay again. Cloaking is super useful. Um, there's no second page here. We could get an anti-drone... Uh, drone? An anti-drone drone? But unfortunately, we don't have enough money to buy a drone control system, so... Uh, I'm hoping... I guess we'll just go to the exit. We might be able to do one more jump after that, but if we don't get anything, then what we will do is just upgrade our ship. Um, okay, here we go. You come across an asteroid mining colony, they message you immediately saying, Greetings! Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the Rebels blockaded this system. Do you have any extra explosives? So we can give them five missiles, or we can solve their problem by launching a missile, or we, we can give them 15 missiles, or decline. There's no way I'm giving them five missiles, that'll sink me, so I'll shoot one missile to try to solve their problem. While I appreciate your enthusiasm, we have a certain protocol for the use of explosives around the workplace. Launching a military-grade weapon into our minds isn't exactly what I would call union-friendly. Uh, okay. Let's give it to them and we'll see. So they gave us four hull points for five missiles, which is a terrible damn deal. So what I'm actually going to do here, and this is going to put us a little bit behind the eight ball, but I'm going to come back here and I'm going to buy two missiles, and then we will jump uh, back to the exit and get ready to leave. So at least we got to supplement our dwindling missile reserves a little bit, but uh, that's not very good, all things considered. By the way, totally should power down the med bay, power up the engines. We're okay to do this now. Alright, so can we upgrade our ship? We can get, um... I love getting a second level of shields. I also do love getting the second level of doors, I'll admit. But we can't afford it. Second level of sensors is okay, and, uh... Engines are always a good thing to pump as well, but, uh... We can't really... We can't really right now, so I think I'm just gonna head down to the next... Not floor, but the next sector without any, um... Oh, this is a, a much nicer layout here, too. I'm gonna go with Zoltan, uh, controlled sector. Maybe we'll get some Zoltan crew members, but, uh, yeah, I, I really, really dig the, um... that new layout. We're not in a good position, but maybe we will be if we move onwards. So we definitely don't want to start by going to the store. Uh, we'll try to generate some scrap first. We have no... We have in danger here. Okay. A Zoltan ship is waiting at this beacon. They request your identification, but radiation from the sun in this system is disrupting your communications. They take your silence for aggression and move into attack. What are these over here on the side? Return crew to saved positions. Ooh, that's really useful. Okay, so yeah, let's save crew positions. And then if we move them around, we can just click this button to send them all back. That's so good. These are some really nice, uh... Upgrades for a free patch, basically, or a free, well, it is a patch, but like a free uh, expansion. 
So they, um, I shouldn't shoot at their engines first. I should probably shoot at weapons first, but we got to get their shields, uh, their energy shield down first anyway. So we're not going to waste any missiles getting their energy shield down. Luckily, they missed with their um, burst weapon or their laser weapon, which means their beam is not going to do any damage because beams are really bad at breaking shields. So hopefully, yeah, they missed again. Lucky us. Uh, so we're firing right now. We have taken down their energy shield. We could use the Artemis missile, but I don't think we need to. Instead, I'm just going to focus. Oh, that's... Not great, but that's fine. We just took a little bit of hull damage. That's the best kind of damage to take if you have to take it. Uh, okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna launch a missile and, missile and land it in their weapons then instead. Uh, and that took all of their weapons offline basically. So that should buy us some more time. I much I would have much rather not used a missile part for that. But you know what's done is done basically. Is there energy shield recharging? No. Oh, I fired Artemis by accident and missed. That's super shitty. So they're repairing their weapons. Uh, they put their beam back online first, which again is basically meaningless uh, but if they get the laser up at the same time as the beam that's bad for me so we're just gonna fire one more laser in there kill the weapons and then hopefully they'll just be a sitting duck basically yeah that looks pretty bad for them we'll fire one parting shot on their oxygen just so if anyone survives the ship explosion at least they'll suffocate in the coldness of space pretty quickly that's you know I'm a merciful commander what can I say that fight could have gone better but it could have gone worse as well really don't like wasting missiles but hey we got two missiles back and 23 scrap I do think we should upgrade our ship um, let's start by picking up two bars of power and uh, this doesn't really allow me to do too much yet but soon soon it will um, do we want to go to the store we can still go to the store if we jump again we only have six scrap so we should really get some more scrap before we worry about going to the store okay uh, it's a rebel ship it uh, has well let's let it go here it has drones okay so the drones are gonna be the first thing that we're gonna shoot at it is drones and beams so the drones are going to be the, the real problem here. Um, but they have really weak shields and not very strong weapons. And actually, it's a beam drone as well. So they might not be able to get by my shields at all. Uh, we'll see. First things first, though, I'm going to take out this drone. Because uh, that's the only thing that could basically allow its weapons to deal damage. So uh, after this, we'll probably launch a shot on the shields. And then by landing a shot on the shields, uh, we'll get open season basically on all of their other parts if I want to. Yeah, shields are totally out. We haven't taken any hull damage. Uh, actually, you know what? There's no reason to go on the weapons. Just to speed things up, we should actually go on the engines so they lose their passive dodge chance. And, uh, yeah. They're going to try to get away. That's going to be really difficult without an engine, though. And we'll just shoot on the... Um, I guess we'll shoot on the shields next, just to make sure they don't get away. Um, or just to make sure I can land my next round of shots. And that's going to work totally fine. They're offering to surrender. They can give us two missiles one drone part and 11 scrap or we can not accept surrender I'm not gonna accept surrender because that offer is just really shitty actually so um, their FTL drive is getting powered up it doesn't really matter what we attack next as long as one of our three shots hits we should win and we saved missiles uh, hopefully we get more from ignoring their surrender than we would have gotten from accepting it and uh, we get more scrap but we get less um, we don't get any missiles unfortunately and we get some fuel and drone parts uh, we can still go back to the store even if we move ahead one more so I think this is okay. We're kind of low on fuel. So we can trade missiles for drone parts. Ignore. I think we're just not going to go to the store right now. Uh, I think we just need to move forward. Hopefully we'll get some fuel from all the ships that we destroy here. Uh, you've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active. You're not sure anyone's on board. Let's hail them. Oh, as you hail the refugee ship, a Zoltan ship suddenly jumps into the system. It claims the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. Before you can respond, it cuts communications and power ups, it powers up its weapons. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we always do. Try to take over the world. Uh, this is a more dangerous ship than any ship that we've encountered so far, for sure. The reason being, uh, it has two lasers. Ah, uh, but... They do only do one damage each. If any of those lasers had more shots, like if one of them was a two shot and the other one was a one shot, then we'd be at a real risk. But really, we're only at risk of one hull damage each time, which is not so bad. It's not good, and we're probably going to take some hull damage in the process, but I really can't afford to waste missiles in this situation. So I think we'll just take out their weapons, and then... Um, okay, now that my... Um, now that my weapon is kind of down, I figured I'd just land a shot on their shields and... That should make us a little stronger, but I, I did totally use a missile there, and I don't feel bad about it at all. So hopefully our burst laser comes back online soon. There we go. I really... We're going to do it. We're going to land another missile on them. Oh, they still got another shot off. Uh, it does hull damage, but that's okay. I really did not want to use two missiles to make this happen, but you got to do what you got to do. We'll land uh, some shots on their engine. That is going to make it very difficult for them to dodge in the future, and we'll finish the fight here. Uh, all we got to do is hit two of three with our burst laser. And that'll take him out. 
And good. All right, we hit three of three, even better. So we get two fuel, 22 scrap, and we can contact the refugee ship, and they give us another two fuel, one missile, and 13 scrap. That's pretty good. All right, if we're gonna go through with this, we might as well. Oh, you know what? I didn't upgrade power before. I upgraded our shields. That was stupid. Forgive me, it's been a little while, but now second level of shields are up. That's good news. Uh, we should also get second level of doors. I think we can facilitate that. We don't have any extra power, but if we upgrade, uh, no, we need 35 to upgrade our doors. That's okay. We'll get 10 scrap soon. Um, let's go to this other distress beacon. Totally messed up uh, my order there, but actually it's really good to have a second level of uh, shields when you're in an asteroid field because you're going to lose a lot of health just to the asteroids uh, taking down your first layer of shields. Anyway, your jump interrupts the Zoltan security ship as it follows a mantis pirate into an asteroid field. They message you your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. We're going to interfere and help the Zoltan ship. Even though Zoltans have been kind of dicks to us, mantises are usually more dickish. So that's my prejudices on full display here. But mantis ships are usually better equipped, and it looks like they have two lasers here. And two lasers that might be pretty strong. Luckily, they also only have- oh! Okay, um, they have invaded me here. So let's just go over, um, what the standard protocol is for this. Standard protocol is, uh, close the doors leading into these rooms. Yes, please. Uh, wait, no, no. We're gonna open the bay doors, yeah, and then close you in like this. Really should have had the second level of doors, unfortunately, but, um, sure, we'll send you to the shield room. I think this will handle it fine. We'll see. Uh, I'm imagining I'm not gonna have to use missiles, because as a result of the asteroids, they're gonna get torn up pretty easily, and all I have to do is, uh, basically go to town on their weapons to stop them from really, uh, doing a ton of damage. So we'll just go hide in the med bay a little bit. Uh, good shot. We took out one of their lasers. They can still do damage to us. Oh, these doors need to be open. We're about to lose one bar of power, so I think I'll just land uh, one missile shot on their shields, just in case we uh, end up not being able to, to do anything with this in the future, uh, and we have to come back in here and repair stuff. So I don't think the Mantis is actually going to break any of our systems, but the the laser is doing some serious work to it. Okay, we need to power up the med bay so that we can actually fight the mantis in there. And we'll send our other crew member in there to make it happen. Their weapons are completely offline. Their shields are completely offline. And pretty soon their engines are going to be completely offline. Let's close all doors. Um, and stay in the med bay and don't die. You're, you're doing fine. Okay, that's... And then when oxygen comes back, uh, then we'll be okay. But this, this fight's over. That's good. We're in danger here, but we're... Oh, we got fuel and some scrap. That's fine. Uh, we're in danger here, but we're not going to run into a uh, some substantial amount of trouble. We can wait for our oxygen to come back. It's going to take a while, but that's okay. We can't upgrade our ship, though, which is a shame, because I would love to get to the second level of doors as soon as possible. But anyway, um, I think now that people are at full health, we can afford to send uh, everyone back to their starting rooms. I'm so happy that that actually works. You should go to the med bay and heal up a little bit. Pilot, I didn't realize that you were actually hurt. These guys still at 100? Yeah, that's good. The units have hotkeys as well. Actually, did not know that. Uh, but maybe that's another part of the advanced edition. It's a cool, uh, cool little upgrade, anyway. All right, so you go back. So far, so good, I would say. We've seen a couple of advanced uh, edition quirks, namely the uh, some new events. The refugee ship might be new. I think. I'm not sure. You have to admit, Zoltan space is a beautiful and peaceful place indeed. However, re-engaging the FTL and finishing your mission is your priority, not sightseeing. Okay. We're going to upgrade our doors to level 2, which makes them much harder to break down for invaders that come onto our ship, so it's a good thing to do. And in order to justify this, we had to take one power away from our engines. Ah, uh, no, we don't, actually. Never mind. I'm a little rusty. That's okay, all right? Luckily, there's uh, still a jump that we can use to get to the exit. It looked like it might be too far away for us to actually reach, which would have been terrible. But anyway, you arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say there are research they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. We'll do it, even though we could lose a crew member. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. So cool. 11 uh, scrap for us. We'll get to the exit. It looks like we're at least going to make it to Sector 3 unless something goes horribly wrong here. We really need another weapon to come up, though. Okay. Uh, an unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. Do we accept their bribe or try to be a hero? Um, they don't look crazy strong, but they do have a, a boarding uh, module for their ship. 
I think I'm just going to accept the bribe. We'll take the fuel, we'll take the missiles and the scrap, and um, excellent. But yeah, like you said, we both came out of it richer, so I feel bad, but so be it, I guess. We're going to go to the next Zoltan-controlled sector, because it's not a nebula, and continue moving on. Let me take a second to drink a little bit of water here. My throat's getting a little parched. Okay, so uh, we have a choice to go to either the store or the nebula. I think we'll go to, like, this nebula, and then we'll work our way over in case we get a lot of scrap. I really don't like going to the nebula because we lose our sensors. Um, the drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for the Rebel expansion, or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hostile. Well, that's true. Okay, this is a nasty drone here. Let's just take a quick look. They have uh, a laser drone. They have a beam drone. And they have an ion bomb on their ship. Um, that's really bad. I'm going to try to land my first missile, and I say first, hopefully I won't have to use more, but I'm going to land our first missile at the, um, yeah, the shield area, and then I'm going to try to take out their drone unit. Uh, we hit it once, so one of the drones is going to go offline. Uh, and then we don't need to use any more missiles, I think, but uh, we, I would love to take their weapons offline as well. Because it's a drone, I don't think it, like, auto-repairs, which means that I should have a, a, a large window, shall we say, uh, to get this all done. So let's let's aim for the shields first so those are taken out. I'm pretty sure this fight's basically over. It looked a little scary. It looked scarier than it was, let's put it that way. Um, with shields, uh, it didn't really do what I wanted it to do, but we can just rinse and repeat here. As long as we hit two of them, we're fine. And you might be saying, well, you should aim at the engines so they have a lower dodge chance. But yes, but if I can't hit the shields, then I won't be able to hit the engines either. So now I'll, I'll feel okay shooting at the engines. No, because it's going to come back before we get a chance. Uh, I'm very tempted to use a missile just to speed up the whole process here. It looks like it does have a little bit of like auto repairing that happens, but whatever. Um, we're not going to take damage here. It has no way of attacking us besides drones, and drones have no way of getting past two bars of shields. At least those two dr drones don't, so that'll do it. Feeling pretty good about that. Uh, we get some scrap. Some missiles. That's good. We only spent one missile, so I feel pretty nice about that. Yes, there is a store over here. I think we'll go for that store, but we'll try to get some scrap first, because if we want a weapon, that's how, you know, we're going to need a lot of scrap to make it happen. Uh, yeah, an extra 30 scrap, two fuel, and two missiles will help out, help out a great deal when it comes to that. So, let's come down to our store here. We could also need fuel. That would be very nice, or we could also get fuel. Uh, let's see what he's got in his shop. He's got uh, a Zoltan and a Slug crew member. Uh, Zoltans, they... Uh, automatically power whatever ship system they're in. Slugs mean they have better sensors, I think, so you don't actually have to um, have level 2 sensors. They can just automatically sense the ship, if that makes sense, I think. Backup battery provides a 30-second power boost to your reactor. Upgrading increases the boost amount. Boost amount, I should say. Um, they don't have weapons available, I think. Oh, they have, uh, they have some... They do have some weapons, never mind. What's this? Ion Stunner. Ion weapons can disable systems without causing hull damage. This ion weapon stuns crew inside the room for five seconds. I'm gonna be honest with you, that seems pretty bad. Uh, that's probably why it's cheap. It probably shoots pretty frequently. What's its charge time? 10 seconds versus 16 or 15 seconds. Uh, but I really think that the pike beam is gonna be way, way better for us here. I would love to get the Ion Stunner, but uh, we'd have to get second level sensors to make it worthwhile, I think, so we could see where the crew members are. And, I don't know. I feel like the pike beam is just a better choice, but maybe we'll check that out in the future. And, I'm not gonna fix anything. Kinda wanna buy some fuel. We'll just buy one for now, because I do wanna upgrade my ship as well. Because now we have another weapon, um... And right now, our weapons only have three power. We do wanna get that to four. Okay, well, we'll try to do that as soon as we can then. I could sell the Artemis, but... Actually, that might not be the worst idea. Let me think about this. If we go to the store and we sell Artemis, that gives us 19, typically, yeah, so that would take us to 40. And 40 would allow us to upgrade our weapon slot to 4, and then we could power down our engines and we would have enough. Alright, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, it's risky to get rid of a missile launcher, but the pike beam is real good. Let's do it. Okay, so Artemis is gone, uh, and then as a result, we're going to upgrade our weapons. And that should, if we power down our engine, give us the ability to use Pike Beam as well as the Burst Laser. So, it's a little risky. Hopefully it ends up working out. The, I'll show you how the Pike Beam works in case you've forgotten. Just in a second. Okay, so we are, uh, we've got a Rebel Automated Scout. It's got Ions and Lasers, which I imagine are going to do enough damage to probably get through our shield. But it doesn't have any shields of its own, so as long as we can just land one attack before it disables our weapons, we should be good to go here. So, in just a mere moment, it'll come through. And this is a... Ooh, good miss. Uh, but it disabled our med bay. Okay, this is a really good time to demonstrate how beams work. Beams, and I think pike beam is one of the longest, 
um, do more damage the number of rooms they, or the more rooms they touch. So they can do two damage per room, I think, or we can see a one damage per room, that's fine. Uh, so this could do four damage, and it doesn't miss. And sometimes it can start fires, but maybe not the pike beam, maybe other beams. So what you want to do is really get the shield down of the enemy, and then just totally, like, scrape that beam across them, and they'll be done for. So pike beam's very useful, I think. Disables multiple rooms in one, uh, one swoop as well. Now we can upgrade our power bars, and uh, as a result, we can put one power back into our engines and jump around. Okay, we're having a pretty decent run, I would say. We've got another fight here against another ship without uh, any shields. But it scares me because it's got like a double laser here. I think this might be part of the new Advanced Edition content. I actually don't know what... Uh, in fact, the auto surveyors in general might be part of the new content. We'll see what the laser does. No, we won't! And you know what? I don't feel bad about shooting that. This is self-preservation. Uh, beam is gonna seriously tear them up. We got a really nice combination here. What remains to be seen is how well the combination will work when the enemy has shields up. I would love to get a better missile launcher or just get another Artemis, but... Uh, I'm okay with the position we've taken here. We're getting very low on fuel. It kind of glows on us here. I like that as well. Okay, you arrive at a Zoltan security checkpoint. Uh, set up in a perimeter around the beacon. Traveling vessel, you will submit to crew profiling to identify fugitives of the Empire. You don't have time for this nonsense attack or submit to profiling. I'm a peaceful dude. I think we should submit to the profiling. Um, they allowed us to pass. Okay, good. So we didn't have to fight them. Maybe we would have gotten something good for fighting them, but we also lived. So that's good in and of itself. Um, the Zoltan ran away from us here, and I think we can go to this beacon and still make it to the exit before the Rebels will actually get here, so that's good news. Okay, Zoltans, it's the same uh, event, they want us to participate in their study. We do it, and, uh, pirates burst on board! The Zoltans yell in the distance, we're being held hostage. I wonder if we'll get a crew member if we survive here, but look at this freaking laser that this thing has. Okay, so this is a pirate scout. First things first, they are gonna board us. Yeah, there they are, it's a Mantis and an NG. You're gonna go hide in the med bay. And then we're going to open up these doors, like, right here. And the reason we're doing this is to create a passage where, basically, um, they're not going to be able to do anything uh, because they're going to be starved for oxygen. And you know what? We can probably afford to, like, open these up, too, and our person will still live. Now, uh, what's the problem here? We really need to take down shields. So what we need is actually to get burst laser and pike beam, like, working together at the same time. I'm going to open up these doors, too. Uh, burst laser and pike beam working together at the same time, uh, because we need to make sure the shields are down. Ooh, they, they hurt us pretty badly there. We need to make sure shields are down at the same time that we fire the beam. So we're just gonna run our person away. Uh, they're still gonna take a lot of damage here from the whole, you know, lack of oxygen thing. Alright, pike beam's almost ready, so we're gonna burst laser the shields. Did it work? Yes, okay. Now this is gonna hit, but I wanna hit as many rooms as possible. So, we're just gonna scrape it across, like, or as many useful rooms as possible. We're just gonna scrape it across like this. Weapons, oxygen, and engines. And, that did a lot of good work, I would say. Um, let's just rinse and repeat, basically. Okay, they're gonna fight us in here again. So, we're gonna open up this door, and, uh... That we didn't really need to open up those doors, but... Why don't you guys just go get to the pilot area, and hopefully don't die on the way? You can do it! I believe in you! They're gonna make it. Okay, that's good. There's still plenty of oxygen in there. Uh, and... Yeah, you're, you're gonna starve to death or suffocate pretty soon. So we'll take out the weapons now. Just so that they can't come back from this. They've got nothing. Uh, should have maybe taken a shot at the shields because... Actually, the burst... We should have used burst laser at the same time as we use the other stuff. Is oxygen gonna... No, they're gonna die before oxygen runs out. Okay, good! That's two crew members dead. Let's close all doors and wait for the oxygen to kind of repopulate the area. Okay, now we're ready. So we'll shoot the burst laser in at the shields. And then the uh, pike beam. Again, let's rake it across uh, these more important structures here. This should kill them, actually. Yeah, there we go. That went very well, actually. All things considered. Uh, we did get two fuel, which is very important. And we got the shield overcharger. This is the Zoltans that are helping us. Uh, and tons of scrap. We're up to 86 scrap. What is the shield overcharger? Ship. Uh, that's got to be in my equipment. Cargo, shield overcharger, creates a single sh super shield barrier periodically. It requires a drone part to deploy and requires three power. Um, so we needed like a drone control uh, module to be able to power that up. We don't have one. So we're just going to send our units back here into the med bay. And uh, we're going to do that so they heal. I really love this new mechanic to just send them automatically like back to the room that they were in. Oh, you're already at 100 health. Okay. Um, this is good news. So... Let's just uh, have them relax, hang out in here for a second. They're going to get back to 
uh, full health pretty soon. Okay, let's send them back to their uh, rooms here. And we should be able to jump. That's good. Uh, let's let's get to the exit, because we might have something to do with the exit as well. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with the scrap uh, momentarily. Let's see what we have. Um, you have jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens, and you can still see the remains of the dying ships sparkling and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. We can investigate or ignore and move on. I'm going to investigate. Uh, a slug ship makes its arrival as you approach the wreckage. It hesitates for a moment as if surprised to see anyone remaining, then jumps away without a word. You resume scanning the system, wary of any other visitors. And that's it. Okay. Uh, we're going to leave. And we're going to go to the NG Homeworlds. I could really use more crew. Definitely agree with that. And I, I'm just going to keep moving through here until I find another store, because I would love to buy some more weapons, but also we need more fuel. Those are very important right now. A Mantis ship engaging a civilian hails you. Sparks fly about his cockpit as he yells, Stay out of this human or else you are next. Let me see what he's got. He's got a missile launcher and an ion weapon. I think we can take him with 14 missile parts. We're going to aid the civilian ship. Hopefully we'll get some scrap off of the Mantis ship. And we'll be able to get some um, uh, help off of the civilian ship in one way or another. Some resources, shall we say. Alright, so I forgot that we don't have missiles. So it's going to be hard for us to get around shields and disable enemy weapons. But hopefully we'll just get lucky and we'll... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Hopefully we'll get lucky and land a burst laser on shields. We only need two of these to hit. Wait, we're going to wait until the pike beam's ready. Oh, that's really, really unfortunate. Okay. Um, let's get a uh, double repair time in here. We can, we might as well fire one burst laser just to see if we can take out their shields. Probably should have gone for weapons instead, actually, now that I think about it. Um, where are the missiles coming? Med bay doesn't matter. Losing our, our, uh, shields due to the ion weapon is really annoying. I think it's only one level, though. Okay, get, get back to your rooms, that's okay. Where's these ones coming in? Okay, the engine needs repairing. It actually has an oxygen breach as well, but that's okay. Um, we're waiting on burst laser until the pike beam is ready to go, because I really want to disable as many systems as possible. But we're probably only going to get one shot at this. Where's that? That's probably coming for the shields. It, okay, it just opened up a breach. No, it didn't even open, open, open up a breach. Okay, this is a cloning bay, I think. But we're going to shoot on the shields. Let's see if they land. Okay, we got two. That's enough. You remember the TV show. Two is enough. Uh, we now... Scrape this across as many rooms as possible to do a little bit of damage. Okay, that they, they got their shields back up pretty darn quickly. We're gonna send you into the. Uh, you know what? Don't even fix the med bay yet. That's okay. Um, burst laser is gonna be up in a second, and we can actually use this as its own kind of like viable attack. Uh, and we're gonna use it on the weapons just to keep them hindered for now. Oh, that's so shitty. Okay, this is fine though. We're gonna have burst laser and pike beam charge at like roughly the same time. They actually have the ion stunner, uh, which is just taking out our shields. I thought maybe you could target it. Maybe you can once the shields are down. Engines are hurt again, and our dude is actually quite hurt as well. But um, let's land our uh, burst laser in here. Okay, that's a good hit, and uh, this is an important moment again. So we'll scrape this across the weapons and the shield and that empty room. Good, okay, so they, they're dead. That's really good news for us. Man, the ship broke apart. We got 31 scrap, one fuel, two missiles. Attempt to contact the civilian ship. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the remains of the ship. So we got 21 uh, scrap and a little bit of extra fuel. Uh, everyone should go to the med bay. Everyone that needs it at least should go to the med bay. It's paused right now, I guess. Uh, and then we'll have them heal themselves and then move on with 138 scrap. I feel like we should definitely upgrade some stuff. Uh, for 40, we can basically get one permanent engine power upgrade. Uh, we still have 98. Um, for 80... We could get a second bar of shields. I'm gonna maybe... What do we get? An extra... Hmm. We could, we could just get another set of engine power. That could be useful. That gives us, what, 20% dodge chance now and faster charging FTL. And then we could just save the other 40. People always yell at me for not doing enough with engine power. So I'm, I'm hoping that this actually ends up being a really critical improvement. Uh, I, I think it might very well be. It's a good first run anyway. You know, FTL runs tend to be quite long. So, uh... I'm not surprised that we are still here 35 minutes in. That's okay. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I could use your feedback, by the way, if you want me to split the episode up. Then uh, please let me know on Twitter in particular. Just uh, tweet me at Northern Lion LP and say, Hey, I would prefer if the FTL episodes were split in two. I don't know why you would, but maybe you would. So I, I'm more than happy to oblige you. Twice the, um, twice the content for the same amount of work. 
Also, it's a good time to point out that if you're still watching, it would be a great help if you're enjoying the episode if you click the like button. Normally, I don't do this until the end, but we've kind of got a latent period here as I am fixing the engines. Let's speed that up. But yeah, if you enjoy the episode, first episode in a series, all of your support really, really helps uh, long term. So if you like the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe to see more FTL. There will be episodes coming on the regular uh, now that the Advanced Edition is out again. And maybe I can finally achieve my goal of beating the game on normal difficulty. I beat it on easy once. Doesn't really count. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's jump then. There's a store. We only have 40 scrap. I think I'm gonna jump here, and then we can always jump back to the store later. Because we could use some healing. We're a little low. Uh, even though each individual NG is made up of trillions of nano machines, their culture still revolves around traditional social interactions, and nearby station seems to be constructed for the entertainment of passing NG travelers. Okay? Oh, that's a great flavor, I guess. The rebels are fast approaching, so we're actually going to skip over the uh, the store, and we'll find another one, presumably. You notice an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they're excavating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War, and they suggest it might be used to lure the pursuing rebel fleet. Yeah, let's booby trap the cache. Yeah, and that delays their that delays their fleet by a little bit, but we don't need the missile parts anyway, which is why I figured we might as well booby trap it. Uh, that just slows down the rebels, so we're going we're gonna to have a fight here. Uh, I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap. It appears the distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush. Okay, so they have two bars of shields. So do I. They are cloaked. Yeah, they are cloaked. Um, so our weapons can't charge when they're cloaked, which is bad news for me. They also uh, are a rock ship, I think, which means they have really difficult or hard plating. Um, oh, man, they're going to be able to fire missiles and their cloaking's done. Oh, their missile missed. This is important. But the thing is, I really need to have, like, Burst Laser and Pike Beam ready at the same time. But look at this juicy area over here. I could disable so many systems at once. Okay, they, they hit our shields. We should definitely go fix that. Go fix that uh, weapon person, lady or man. Okay, so we're going to land our shots, and we're going to try to hit the uh, cloaking, because that's going to be the biggest eyesore. Oh, my fucking God. Okay, you know what? It would be very rash for me. Okay, that didn't open up a breach, thankfully. It would be very rash if I... Um, if I uh, shot that burst laser there for the second, or sorry, if I shot the pike beam, we should really wait for the burst laser to be ready again. Please fix it faster. We could really use some NG crew members at this very pivotal juncture. Okay, they're shooting. They missed. They missed. Okay, that's very, very good news. Shields are almost back up. Burst laser and pike beam almost ready to go. You can do this. I believe in you. Okay, burst laser's ready. We're aiming on the cloaking. Okay, we hit it. Now, weapons, cloaking, Engine med bay. Or, actually, you know what? Kind of feel like we should go shields, med bay, engines, cloaking. And the reason for this is so that we can also, um, like, by taking out the cloaking, that's obviously important. But by taking out shields, burst laser can become useful without the use of the pike beam, which will help us out uh, in a lot of different ways here. So the med bay's screwed. Cloaking's hurt. Uh, shields are hurt a little bit. Uh, but not totally out. And you know what? We'll take a quick shot on their weapons to hopefully take their missile launcher out. Yeah, rock plating gave them a little resistance. We'll just heal um, our pilot here. I think this has been a pretty good fight so far. Their cloaking did not give them a very large window. So we're just going to wait for our burst laser to come back. We're going to fire on shields and basically scrape our, uh, our beam across them the same way we did earlier. See if we hit. Yep, you only need to hit two, but we hit three. And then we're just going to do one of these and hopefully take out all of these. Uh, they're going to surrender and I'm going to take it. I am going to take it, just because I am I could actually die in the process here because my health is so low. So that's good. We got it. We got some extra fuel as a result, extra scrap. Uh, there's no store nearby, so we're going to jump to this distress beacon. We're kind of getting whittled down here. I'm scared. Um, okay, we can use our beam weapon to carefully cut the ship out. Whenever it's blue, that means it's like we have equipment necessary to do it, whereas normally we'd only have two options. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have illegally been mining the belt without proper equipment. Okay, we'll try to carefully cut them out. We did it, and they gave us a, a missile, a drone part, and 33 scrap. That's good. Is there a store? Apparently there is not a store. I'm getting very nervous. Are we in danger? Not yet. Um, we got a system repair drone as well as some extra scrap from an abandoned mining station on a nearby moon. And there is a store. We have to heal ourselves, no question about it. Uh, but what do we do after that? That's a good question. Okay, so uh, they have some weapons. I would love to buy those. We have to We have to heal first. We're just going to heal up to about uh, 75%, which is typically like right there. And um, I think I'm going to sell these kind of drones that we've got. We could get a life form scanner, detects the location of any life forms even when sensors don't function. Fire suppression would be useful, automatically put out fires throughout the ship. Battery charger, backup battery's lock time is halved. I don't have a backup battery, unfortunately. And we could get a second hull laser, it fires twice. 
it requires two power, but having extra weapons is always useful. So I think we'll sell our drone parts, or our drone systems here, pick up a hull laser, and then we need um, we need six power for weapons. We only have four. It's gonna cost us an awful lot to get there, uh, but we can then have a hull laser and um, burst laser starting the charge, just so that they can do more damage between them. Uh, we can't. We can go here, I guess, um, and then put the pike beam after the shields have been like completely disabled. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. All right. For once, you see the mantis before they see you. Should we attack or remain concealed? Looks like they have a, a bomb and a laser. That doesn't scare me. I think we should attack. Uh, I didn't realize that laser was a. Uh, you know, two lasers in one. We need to open all doors, uh, which is this button, and then uh, also open these bad boys right here, and uh, then we'll just go hide in the med bay. And that mantis should have some serious problems uh, as a result. But that's okay. The bomb is the only thing that worries me. If we can just get burst laser and hull laser to fire at the same time, uh, we should really close like this door as well. Um, if we can get burst laser and hull laser at the same time, they're gonna have a real problem. So we're gonna fire burst laser at shields, hull laser at uh, weapons. Uh, hull laser does more damage when it hits empty spaces. It does twice the damage, I think, if we see. Two times damage on systemless rooms. But we want to take out systems, most importantly, right now. So here you go. All right, that's obviously, as you can probably tell, pretty devastating for them. Um, I think I'm gonna power up our med bay. I'm gonna take one engine away and power up our med bay. And we'll close all doors. And the reason for this is that we can actually fight off this mantis in the med bay. And, uh, yeah, because we're gonna heal, but he won't. So he's gonna die, and that's fine. They'll probably try to beam him back. Hull laser, yeah, they beamed him back. Uh, burst laser and hull laser are both ready. We'll land one on the, um, one on the weapons. I think it still seems smart to land one on the, uh, one on the engines, maybe, so they can't dodge anymore in the future. Yeah, that seems really bad. They can't attack anymore. So they might surrender, but if they don't surrender, then we're gonna win. No question about it. So, we'll wait for the burst laser. I'm gonna put that on their engines so they can't get away, and we've just killed them. All right, that was pretty good. Now, if we can get Pike Beam going at the same time, it would be awesome, but uh, we're gonna need a little bit more power and a lot more scrap to make that happen. And we only have two fuel. Uh, that's that's a bad thing. Hopefully, we get more of that in the future. Okay. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. We could buy one slave and free them to join our crew. We could attack the slaver scum, or we could ignore the slaver and continue on our way. Let's buy one slave. 37 scrap for a crew member is pretty good. So, he is actually better at weapons than our existing crew member. So, um, where did he go? He's in here. We're going to send him to the weapons area. And then you are now going to be our shields, I think. Yes. And you are going to be on engines, and we're going to save crew positions, which has a hotkey as well, which I should learn. Um, but then we're going to send our pilot into the med bay, which I did not realize uh, that he's actually injured. He'll get healed up pretty quickly here. And uh, once he's at full health, we will then depower the med bay, as we are wont to do. Power up the engines to full, and get ready to move along. Okay, I, I feel like we're in an alright position for right now. Let's jump. Uh, we'll go to the next sector. Can either take a Nebula or Rock Homeworlds, and I think I'm gonna take the Rock Homeworlds, and uh, the reason for that is that Nebulas scare the shit out of me with their, like, power-altering junk. Now, we're in a weird position. This is our last fuel. We need to win fuel here, and there's no store that we can find, and we don't have scrap to buy anything from the store anyway. Uh, buy one fuel for two scrap. Yes, we will do that. So that jump basically allowed us to survive for another brief second. Uh, this jump seems to give us the most adjacent jumps. We're in a bad spot. We're in danger and no fuel. We have intruders on board. You passively scan a small rock station that is next to the beacon. However, they must not have appreciated your curiosity. A rock ship pulls away from the station and you register an incoming teleporter signal as well. Okay, so they've come in uh, adjacent to the engine room. Just open all this up. All right, engine man, you know where to go. You get back in the med bay, basically. And uh, they have rock plating and a lot of pretty nasty weapons here that scare me. Are they going to be able to break my engines? Looks like they're not even trying. They're just, oh, please don't break oxygen. That would be bad. Um, break wind, I guess I should have said. They broke oxygen, so let's close our doors here. Um, I, I can't. Our doors are our doors are already closed. Okay, that's good. Um, why don't you go repair uh, the sensors? And I want, oh, that's why. All right, this is scary. Um, now we can shoot on them. We have to take out their weapons, so uh, we're gonna go one and three. Wow, we did no damage. We took down their shields, but did no damage. So, uh, this fire is causing a real problem. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna die, like, right now. Uh, I can't really see what's going on. Our weapons have now stopped working. 
Uh, our medbay can be powered up, so we might as well put them in there. We'll see if we can get our shields healed up quickly. Uh, weapons are ready to go, and this might be the last time we get to fire them, so uh, let's make good use of it. We gotta take their weapons out. Fire all five lasers on weapons. We missed all of them, are you kidding me? Okay, now there's a fire in here. They must, that beam that they have must be a fire beam. Ooh, that missile did a lot of damage to our weapons. I'm not even sure what I can do right now. Uh, I'm trying to get shields back up. After we get shields back up, we have to go for weapons, I guess. The fires are spreading throughout the ship. Okay, both of you come over here. Try to repair the uh, the weapons as quickly as possible. We're gonna we're gonna win this fight in the med bay, I think. Yeah, those those enemies are gonna die. It's gonna be close. <laughs> Our dude's not doing a whole lot of damage. You can do it, Butters. I've only known you for a brief while, but I believe in you. Okay, okay, we killed the crew. That's surprising. Uh, oxygen getting real low. So Butters, the hero of the day. Oh yeah, good. Land it right on our oxygen. Okay, uh, you need to get to the med bay as soon as possible, or you're gonna die due to oxygen starvation. Oh, they, they made it. Okay, and you know what? Butters has got to get back too. Oh shit. Now we're we're screwed then. Are they even gonna be able to stay alive in the med bay? Oh my god. Okay. Um, we can't jump away. They're gonna jump away. We can't jump. We, so we just wait, and we'll put our distress beacon on, because we're in a bad state. Okay, uh... Nothing happened, so we're just gonna jump with our or wait with our distress beacon on. Okay. No, a um, mobile slug... Slugman fuel depot enters scanning range. My prices are fair, but I do ask one thing. Do not insult me with negotiation. Uh... We don't have any scrap, so no. So he's gonna attack me instead. That's good. Uh, all of our units are dying. This is how it ends. Uh, oxygen on our ship is at zero. No, they're slowly all gonna pass away. Can you make it before you die? Oh no, you're gonna pass away. Okay, well this is really bad. We have a, we have one burst laser that only does three, so that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying it. We saw some new content there, but hopefully we'll get a chance uh, in the future as well. Let's check out our stats there. I'm not sure if it looks at it. It does look at our old save, so I wasn't even close to getting a, a new record there, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, especially since this is the start of a new series, it would help a great deal if you would click the like button. It really means a lot. It helps out a great deal, and I appreciate it uh, endlessly. We'll have some more fun with creative names and stuff like that as we move along, but I'm glad to be back playing FTL. Of course, if you want to see more FTL Advanced Edition episodes on YouTube every single day, youtube.com slash northernline, or click subscribe to have them delivered right to your homepage. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Go check out FTL Advanced Edition on the iOS store or on uh, Steam if you already own FTL, or if you don't, pick it up. It's great. And I'll see you next time.